Welcome to the journal finder tutorial part one. The journal finder is the definitive source for journals that the library has access to. Any journals that are listed in the journal finder, when you search in JetFind, you will see articles from those journals populate in your search results list. Something to keep in mind is that not all open access journals are available in the journal finder or in a JetFind search. So if you are specifically looking for an open access publication, you should try a different resource, such as the directory of open access journals. A few definitions before we get started. An access point is where you get access to the publication. It's usually a database, a journal collection, or a subscription from the publisher. These will appear as links in the journal finder. You have coverage or a date range. Those are the years that the library has access to. And then you have something called an embargo period, which is a current time period that has no access. And that is set by the database vendor, not controlled by the library. For an example, you might see access from 1979 up until six months ago. There are features that you'll see in both uh, the journal finder at the journal level and also in a jet find search at the article level. And those will be peer review and open access icons, both of which come from Earl Rick's web. Um, there is a browsing integration that I'll go into detail in the next video, but you'll see links like view journal and browsing or download PDF or view complete issue. Both will show you access points and details, and at the journal level, you're, you will see a search box to search inside that journal. Something to keep in mind as you're navigating JetFind, in the upper left corner, there is the JetFind logo. Anytime you click that, you will be brought back to this homepage, but you can also see up top, you have a few menu options. One of them is the journal finder. In this box on the right, these are electronic resources that don't necessarily work well within JetFind. So it is best to go directly to them. I point this out because Med1 ComSci actually does have three journals available in it. However, at this time, those three journals are not available in the journal finder. The best way to get to the journal finder is from the library's homepage, and you will click on the journal e-journal link over here. This will bring you directly into JetFind, and you will see it says journal search and title or ISSN in the box. You can also browse by category, which would be subject area or discipline. Clicking on any of these will expand the option. So I clicked on engineering, and now you can see I have a few other options. If I want to click on computer science, the list will refresh, and you can see there are 286 journals that deal with computer science. What will happen most likely is that you will come in to search for a specific journal. So you'll type the name or the ISSN. If you click on the title, that's where you'll get more information. So up top, you do see the view journal and browsing link. Here's the search inside option to type um, an article title or your keyword. And in the view it section, these are all of the places that we have access to this particular journal, Death Studies. And you can see from all of the EBSCO hosted databases, there is an embargo period. So you have from 1993 up until the most recent 18 months or one year and six months. So a year and a half to now, uh, those volumes and issues are not available, you would need to find a different resource. There's also some older access in uh, ProQuest Central and the Social Science Database. And then the last one, because these are listed in alphabetical order, the last one would be a journal subscription, which is from 1997 up until present day. And the details will give you things like subject area, the publisher, the ISSN. So if you wanted to uh, do a search in this journal, you would type in your keyword in this search inside box, click enter, hit enter, or click on the magnifying glass. And what this does is it populates a search within JetFind. My keyword is right here, meditation. On the second line, that is the ISSN and ESSM for that particular journal. And as you scroll down the list, you can see that all of these articles come from Death Study. The journal is listed right there. 
you can download PDF, view complete issue, those are browsing integrations, or you can click on the title of the article to get more information. If you wanted to stay within your search of the journal death studies, but change your keyword, you can always just do that in the search box up here, change out your keyword, and that'll populate a new search for you. And if you wanted to start over, you can always click journal finder up here in the top menu, and that'll bring you back to the journal finder page. This concludes part one of the journal finder tutorial.